Hey guys, I have not seen you for a while. I just saw you like two seconds ago if you watched my other video. So, hey movie freaks, um, if you are new to my channel or you have not yet seen this film, there will be spoilers, but if that does not bother you, let's go ahead and jump into my review of Polaroid. So, fair warning, I say I'm a lot. I look down a lot to see my notes because I have a horrible memory. That's just me, so I'm I'm sorry. So the plot of this movie is basically a high school loner named Bird. She receives a vintage Polaroid camera that holds a dark and mysterious secret. And they just basically gotta figure out what it is and how to stop it. She soon realizes that those who do get their picture taken by said camera meet a tragic and untimely death. So this movie came out this year. Um, it had several dates before that that it was going to come out, but it got um, postponed for some reason. Um, it is rated PG-13 and runs an hour and 28 minutes. It's under the horror category and it's directed by Lars Kleberg and written by Blair Butler. Uh, it has the cast of Katherine Prescott, Madeline Peach, I'm not sure how to say that, I'm sorry, Peach, um, Davy Santos, among others. <clears throat> so, the movie starts right out as Sarah, played by Madeline Petch, I'm sorry if I butchered that name, as um, she is opening or finding her mother's old pol Polaroid camera. And I'll explain that in just a little bit because that part had me a little bit confused. After her friend takes her photo with that camera and leaving her alone in what seems to be an abandoned house, it does not look like anybody lives there, uh, she starts hearing things and here comes a spoiler in three, two, one she's killed off so she's the first to die then we skip on to uh, bird played by Catherine Prescott who likes to take pictures she seems quiet isolates herself and works at an antique shop her friend Tyler who's played by Davy Santos uh, picks up a Polaroid camera at a yard sale and she's ecstatic. She freaks out because she's never seen that camera. It's so rare. Famous photographers had used it. And so excitingly she takes a picture of Tyler and predictably we know what will happen after that because we kind of, you know, get that. So that's a glimpse into uh, the beginning of the movie. Um, I'll go over the actors next. So Catherine Catherine Prescott. I do not know her from any other movie. However, she did okay in this one with what she was given. My only complaint is this. So, spoiler coming up in three, two, one. When her friend Tyler does get killed eventually by the camera after his picture is taken. She does seem unemotional. I don't know if that's what the character oh, excuse me. if that's what the character asked for or if that was just her way of acting but I just didn't believe that part when he died. Um, the supporting actors are just that and don't last very long so you really don't get a chance to get attached to anyone and I really didn't anyways except to oddly the shape which is the the um, ghost or whatever it is that's killing people because I got curious after the backstory came about you know I got a little bit attached to him which is kind of weird so the story and the scenes I felt like this movie could have been something great I expected a lot more out of it, especially after watching the trailer. I was really excited to watch it, but I just can't pinpoint in one particular aspect of the movie that it seems to be lacking. I don't know if that makes any sense. But it it had several, and it did have some good parts in it, and I'm not going to 
lie about that, but it just wasn't what I expected it to be. Uh, what I did like is, if you have watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I love movies and shows with backstories, and this one does have that, which I just mentioned. Um, and it had an interesting point of view of that backstory, because there's different ones and what happened but it is a bit boring in between the climax scenes that weren't very climactic the majority of the film does take place in their high school uh, the beginning of the movie was surprising but expected at the same time because you knew what was going to happen as were all the scares all the scares were pretty much expected all the deaths were ex as expected you just didn't know it's not like in Final Destination that when you took a picture of a group whoever was first or you know you took a picture of three individual people it doesn't it didn't work in sequence so he just killed off basically whoever he wanted to whenever he wanted to so That was kind of my beef is that there could have been so many other things that went along with this movie but I mean obviously if you get your pitch taken you're gonna die so I mean it's kind of a straightforward topic I guess so with all that being said I'm gonna give Polaroid two cameras and that is just for the sole fact that everything was expected and I just feel like it could have been so much more. So, I mean, I'm going to give it another chance, of course. I give pretty much every movie another chance, and I might end up liking it the second time I watched it, but as of right now, it's just a two. So, <laughs> the movie that I'm most excited to see is El Chicano. And that is out now, and I'll leave the trailer down in the description below. So I want to take a second just to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel if you are one of my subscribers. Also, if you have not subscribed, make sure you do that so you can see all my new videos. I'd love to have you join my Movie Freak family. You can just click right here and you can easily subscribe. Also, I'll put over here a playlist of my most recent content. You can go ahead and check those out. I'd love to have you watch them. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!